And I must, from the onset, emphasize that the statement from ODM and the assertion thereof are dishonest, <coughs> deceitful, insincere, and devoid of worth. The statement confirms many of our misgivings with the NASA as a coalition disrespect of the rule of law, their assertion is unpatriotic, undemocratic, dictatorial, and heavy-handed. This is a coalition that does not respect our constitution, the democratic institution it creates, and I dare say it disparages the citizens of Kenya. In response, therefore, I wish to state as follows. Number one, and I hope uh, Honorable Junet and his brigade are watching me. No vacuum exists in the office of the president. His Excellency Honorable Uru Kenyatta continues to hold office until the person next elected, president, is sworn in in accordance with Article 142, subsection 1 of the Constitution of Kenya. So as we sit here, there is no vacuum. There is a president in place. And until another president is sworn in, in accordance with Article 142, subsection 1, there is a president. That, I think, the NASA guys are not aware. Number two, in issuing the notice of the first sitting of the 12th parliament, His Excellency the President responsibly exercised his constitutional obligation conferred upon him through Article 126, subsection 2. Number three, the presidential petition in the Supreme Court has no association whatsoever with the operations and functions of Parliament. So Parliament is not in the Supreme Court. Members of parliament elect in both houses are, are not in the Supreme Court. They are not party to the case before the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. The case before the Supreme Court is between one, Raila Amor Odinga, the leader of the opposition, and two, the declared president, Uhuru Kenyatta by IBC, uh, who is there in order to respond to the allegations and the petitions filed by the leader of the opposition. 